Hello YouTube, I'm Brent Peter here with you. Coming to you from Bangkok. I'm here at the Holiday Inn, fixed to take a little dip in the pool. Thought I'd give y'all a little, show y'all the, give you a little look around. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Nice, nice little swimming pool here. Here at the Holiday Inn, fix and jump in and enjoy this. Just a beautiful day here in Thailand, folks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A lot of, of y'all asked me, said, oh, uh, why are you back in Thailand? You just got back from Thailand. Well, folks, can't go wrong in Thailand. And yes, I, I, I was here two months ago and I love Thailand. And my good buddy, Mike, you can see over here, Mike's here from Texas. Like I say, I've told y'all in videos before, I told him that if, if he come halfway around the world that uh, I would meet him over here and we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay about three weeks. Uh, so just enjoying it so far. Uh, took him out, showed him some nightlife. He caught on pretty quick, folks. Uh, after about one day, I'd be, I'd be, I'm still kind of down on my foot. My foot from a little moto accident. So you can see that. Upside down foot. Yeah, anyway, my foot's been kind of killing me, so uh, he just took off and shit. He's been exploring the city and, and uh, the nightlife and all that kind of stuff, so he's having a blast. And and I've, I've, I've been with him probably 90% of the time, but uh, a few times I just let him spread his wings and fly, say, go handle it. And like I say, he's, he's hit the night scene, if you know what I mean. So hang on, let me turn this around. Okay, folks, I'm back. Woo, that water was cold. I jumped in here and I, woo, shriveled my pod. There's no really good place to set this camera, so kind of got my little noise cancellation earphones on so I can talk to y'all a minute. But yeah, having a good time so far. Uh, like I say, just, just been exploring the city, uh, still kind of sticking to the, the Nana Plaza, the Terminal 21, the Soy Cowboy areas, but uh, had some good Thai food, had some good American food. Got me a burger the other day, first time I've had a burger, uh, or a decent burger in over a year. So living at the Philippines, they, they don't have what you call beef, they've got beef. We call it beef, it's just not quite beef. But uh, when you're Philippines, you gotta make do with, with what you got. So uh, no complaints, just just telling you, I finally had a, a pretty decent burger. Uh, and like I say, I ate some good Thai food, so really enjoying it. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna sneak on over to Hoi Hin tomorrow. Uh, gonna spend a few days in Hoi Hin. Uh, it's been on my radar. I was gonna go last time and, and just never got the opportunity to go. And then I booked us some tickets to to Cambodia. He was he was down to go to Cambodia, and so that was a little push, the little nudge I needed to finally finally go go to Cambodia. So we're we're gonna be flying to Sim Reap. Uh, I think we'll go check out Anchor Wat. Who knows? We might even get some rent some motorcycles and, and uh, travel on down to Patan Pen. So just no plans, just, you know, we just, uh, everything's up in the air. That's kind of the way I like it. You know, nothing nothing really tying you down. We're leaving here tomorrow. I think this will be the fourth or fifth day here, uh, here in Bangkok. I'm like say headed down to Hoi Hin. Uh, and he wants to definitely hit Pattaya. So, so when we get back from, from Cambodia, we're gonna be uh, traveling, venturing on down to, to Pattaya and let him check out that nightlife scene. So uh, it's been it's been good. So far, so good. Really enjoying it. Just two old rednecks turned loose in the middle of Thailand, and, and we're having a good time. So uh, got to still got to go out and, and buy some souvenirs for some uh, people back home, and, and going to kind of I'm going to kind of try to wait till you know toward the end of the trip, so I'm not flying back and forth with all that extra baggage and stuff, but. <clears throat> if you get a chance, definitely come to Thailand, folks. It's 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 completely different than the Philippines. It's it's I seen on a t-shirt the other day. I'm gonna buy buy this t-shirt too. It's the same same but different. That that describes it pretty pretty well here. In the, when you when you're comparing Philippines and and Thailand, and there's a lot of similarities, but but there's a lot of differences too. And like I say, I love them both. I love Thailand. I love the Thai people. I love the Philippines, and I love the Philippines people. But just two two totally different vibes really and, and every city is unique just just like anywhere you go uh yeah just just 
every place feels feels like a different spot, you know, from from the islands. Uh, and I, I'm not an expert on on either place, but ju just from you know my take on it, you know, the, I, I love I love the Dumaguete area in the Philippines. Uh, I, lo I love several areas here in in, in uh, uh, Thailand. Of course, you're you're here, you stay here four or five days. You know, stuff kind of gets you know routine, and, and you wanna. You want to step on out, and so if you're you're coming over here and want to see or get to see a bunch of Thailand, like I say, pack light. Just take you take you a backpack. That way, if you're if you're jumping on and off these airplanes, a bunch of these cheaper airlines over here only allow like seven kilos, which is 15 pounds. So so keep that in mind. Don't don't bring a bunch of stuff over here if you're traveling. If you're coming over here long term or or just going to be in one or two places or take buses or that kind of stuff, yeah, bring what you want, but uh, you'll sure save. A lot of money on just uh, baggage and that kind of stuff. If you travel light, and like I say, hell, everywhere you go, you're gonna want a souvenir or something anyway. So, so just buy you t-shirts and stuff over here. It's way cheap. Socks, t-shirts, all underwear, that kind of stuff is way cheaper over here. Just wear them a few times, throw them away if you want to. You don't even have to take them home. Just uh, keep that in mind. But yeah. Uh, Philippines, like I say, I, I, I normally stay in the, the Dumaguete, Valencia, Valencia area, and and that's home to me. Uh, but it all gets it, it all. I don't know after you after you're somewhere for a while, you know, it, it, it just the same old grind. You, you need you need to you need to go new places, try new things. So so it's it's good to uh, leave the country, leave the Philippines every once in a while. And, and like I say, with their with their driver's license rules and stuff, uh, you're only good for 90 days anyway. So I'd been there about two months. So I need to, I had another month before I was gonna have to leave the country for my driver's license to be good again anyway. And, and like I say, I plan on going back to the United States before the first of the year. And so, yeah, it just breaks it up and keeps everything new and fresh. And plus I can get to uh, hang out with a buddy of mine. So uh, like I say, there's, there's there's beautiful women in the Philippines. There's beautiful women in Thailand. Uh, same, same, but but different. And yeah, just enjoy it, folks. Uh, had to leave the Philippines too. I, I've been, been, you know, the just the same old grind and the same old grind. You know, I'm I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but but it starts to get it starts to wear on you. And, and hell, I started to make some bad decisions probably. So so I needed to get out of there, get a get a fresh fresh look at it you know uh fresh look at the world and and like i say looking really looking forward to this cambodia trip I, the last uh six months i kept saying i'm gonna go to cambodia i'm gonna go to cambodia and i just didn't have nobody over here last time to give me that little push and hell mike said i'm down so i said hell let's go and i, I booked us one-way tickets already that way we have to go and we'll worry about getting back when we get back so like i say he's gonna be here three weeks we got we got not all the time in the world. He was he was wanting to hit four or five different places over here, which was cool with me because I'd never been to several of the places that he was wanting to go. Hat Yai and and he met several others. You know he he met some 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 people that he was going to go see. So, but a couple of them fell through, and 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 we decided the Cambodia deal uh, sounded good to both of us. So. So I'm, I'm, I told him, I said, I don't mean to hijack your, your vacation, but if you, if you want to go to Cambodia, I'm, I'm down for that too. He said, hell, let's do it. So, so that's what we're going to do. And like I said, he, he definitely wants to hit Pattaya and, and we're going to go do that. But we're starting out tomorrow. Uh, figure we'll take, take a cab. Uh, it's kind of, kind of expensive. It takes, uh, about 2,500 baht, which comes out to about $75 for the two of us, but it's a four hour trip. So. Uh, that beats getting on a bus or whatever you could do it on a bus for probably 500 baht. But that way, at least we're, we'll get there and get back, and it, it's not a big deal. It's just a just no good. I, that just seems like the best option instead of instead of doing the bus or the or the the van. Namcher ain't doing a van. I, I took them vans in the Philippines, and I'm not doing a van anywhere. You know, they wait till them damn things get plumb full and before they. Before they take off and you just packed in one so it's like sardine the whole time thought about doing the bus but i think we'll just spend the money and get there and and, and try to enjoy hua hen if any of y'all's been to hua hen i hope i'm saying that right 
Uh, leave a comment down in the messages. Tell us, tell us what we need. Uh, Go see what we what what's what's cool. Some of the good nightlife places. Some of the good day daytime places. You know we we won't, don't know nothing about uh, about Hoy Hen really. I don't even know it was on my radar about last this time last year. I seen a video or something about Hoy Hen was was uh, a good spot. So it's been on my to do my little bucket list since then. So uh, but it's like I said it's been a year. So I forgot what the hell I was even looking at. And like I say, he said he was down to go, so that's what we're going to do. But yeah, Lee, if you've got any good ideas or, or places in between here and there or, or, or ideas or anything that you'd like to see in Hoi Hen, leave it in the comments and help we get the chance. We'll go, we'll go check it out. I uh, thought I'd make this quick little video. I've got nearly, shit, I don't even remember now. I think 3,500 subscribers. Uh, like I say, I appreciate everybody coming along for the ride. I'll be back in the Philippines in a couple of weeks, so... Uh, looked forward to, to making more Filipino content but until then we're going to be in Bangkok going to be in Hoi Hen, going to be in Cambodia, uh, going to be in Pattaya so uh, check out these next few videos folks that's all I got for now this is Brent's Trippin' Peace